the second and the final lecture for the bar charts and to optimize it the way that you would like to see it. The timelines here is showing months and years, which is the default, but you want to change it. So you would go to the time scale. In the time scale, there is the first options, either two lines or three lines. So what if you choose three lines? The third line is empty. Isn't this weird? Because you didn't give data enough to put it in the third line. So the time scale starts is the data date, which is this blue line. It's not clear enough here, but you're going to show it here. So what do you want to see? Let's say we want to see year, month, and weeks. This can be shown in this way. Time scale, and you would make it month, week. You'll see automatically it has changed to year above, month, then week. But the sight lines might confuse anyone. So in Shot's case, we would adjust the tight lines. We'll go here and show major lines every month. Show minor lines every week. So now it's more clear. Every week there is a minor line and there is a straight line for the month. So go back to the time scale. What's this show ordinal dates? For example, you are you are in the tender stage and making uh, or making just a claim or you are using for just to show that this project needs this amount of months or weeks or days or years. So you just want to to show a number like one. Two, three, four, five, six months, rather than showing April, May, June, July. So in such case, you would do it show ordinal dates, make this by month, for example, and here you go. So as the three lines, you have shown one, two, three, four, five, six. So when you see the project, it has started at the middle of month one, and it's going to finish at the last at month twelve. So you can estimate how many months exactly from the ordinal dates alone. You can customize it more and more by showing, let's say, for week, how many weeks. So you have the weeks, which is 49 weeks. You can, in such cases, I would recommend to make it two lines only to avoid confusion. And that makes it way easier by showing ordinal dates and weeks. Or you might show month. And here it goes, one, two, three. It, it, it avoids confusion because June, July whatsoever. So now it appears good. And you have it ready. For example, you want to save this. It's here at minus one. You want to save this view. You'll go to the layout. Layout, save as, because if you press save, this means it will be saved in the two weeks. Look ahead. Save. So you want to save as. We will name it Ordinal Dates View. You should keep always different layout for your own sake. So whenever you want a layout, it will take just a minute to get it back. You will click here and choose the layout that you want. And that's it. So now we have optimized the powers and the bar chart. You have optimized this area and you're more familiar with this area. One last thing in the bar chart options is the progress line. So what's the progress line? It's when updating, it shows what's ahead, what's behind, what's ahead, what's behind. It's a red one. While updating, it makes things clear that what's the status of the project. It gives you a fast and a quick view for the status of the project. So now, the bar charts is finished. Congrats. Go up to the next lecture.